evening, everybody, and welcome to Saturday Evening Compline. We're on a few minutes early. Uh, my name is Laura, and this is my husband, Jacob, and our son, John. Uh, um, we're members of the Episcopal Church of the Epiphany in Richardson. Um, during this time when we can't meet in person, uh, we, uh, we're, we're gathering together for prayer, um, daily prayer, on uh, Epiphany's Facebook page at 8 a.m., 12, 10, and 8 p.m. Um, so we're uh, we're going to start off with a Bible story. Um, but anytime during the during this uh, video, if you want to share your prayer requests, um, please do, and we'll we'll pray for them towards the towards the end. All right. It looks like it's already eight o'clock, so we'll read something short. We've got a psalm here, and I'm reading out of uh, the Tommy DePaula book of Bible stories. We're going to read the twenty-third psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. For the, even though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the, pre in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready to start? Yeah. Do you want to stay with us for prayers, John, or do you want to go ahead and go to bed? You can snuggle up. Snuggle up. Okay. okay. I remember the first time we did anything for the family to make us home. Mm, you can't call me today. Mm. You can snuggle right here or you can go lay in bed. No. Alright. You know something. Go move the bed spray and move the chair. Alright. Um, here. Okay. Here we start. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, thought and word, word and deed, and in what, what we have left, left undone. For the sake of your Son, Jesus, Lord Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Mama, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mama, the Okay. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We're gonna we're gonna read uh, Psalm thirty one. Um, we'll read it responsibly by full verse, and you're welcome to read along with us. Yep. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Mama, does it feel comfortable when the kids want to rub the Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Oh, wait, sorry, no, I'm kind of cutting ahead. It's good. Uh, come to me, all who, are la all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. And learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
This is from Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Yeah. Thanks be to God. All right. Um, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as an apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to pray that you might use the Lord's prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy. You're right, the ending. Be our light in our be, be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of the night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'll read a, a collect for Saturdays. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal mystery through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I'm gonna I'm gonna read uh, one of the other prayers here. Keep watch, dear Lord, with all those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. So um. So uh, we, uh, you can go ahead and type in your prayer request, um, and we will we will try to refresh and and get them. Um, all right, we we have a few coming in. You can wait for just a minute. Um, I also have a list of, of people from the from the newsletter to uh, to pray for as well. Um, Let's see if we're doing it. Miss Amanda says hi. Do you have anything you want us to pray over, Sean? Well, no, but just like you have a safe journey to get there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Safe travels. Okay. All right. Um. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, please watch over those um, who are in need this week, including. Joe Arada, Jonathan Shea, Cheryl Berry, Ramondo Gutierrez, Mimi Tanner, Tiffany Shaw, June Sullivan, Michael Brennan, Connor Parks, David Ruddick, Marna Ruddick, Gordon Collins, Becky Campbell Bellows, Charlotte Fredericks, AJ Schuler, Schuster, John Marshall. Um, we also want to pray for Aaron. He's an R. He's a he's a registered nurse working with COVID. Um, we want to pray for all the patients in Oklahoma. Um, we want to pray for all the all the little ones um, who are, um, you know, stuck at home with their parents. <laughs> um, Father, watch over us all. Uh, please keep us safe. Um, please please work uh, justice. Over us all. Um, keep us safe. Um, please work uh, your justice in our society. Um, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And please continue to add your prayer requests. Even if they're added after the live video is over, they will still be prayed over. Okay. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes, eyes of mine have seen the Savior, for whom you prepared 
for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and sleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. You want to say goodnight to everybody? No. Yeah, my prayers are over. I'm just going to make some announcements. You want to say goodnight? Okay. Okay. So thank you for praying with us this evening. Uh, you can join us again tomorrow morning for Epiphany's, Epiphany's online service at 10 a.m. here on Facebook Live or later in the day on YouTube. Um, there are also now several options for being able to worship in person um, and to receive communion. And so Epiphany now has a service on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m., especially for those who are over the age of, I don't remember where the cutoff is, but, but it, Amanda's probably going to post all the information in the comments too. So um, we have service on Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. for the elderly and on 7 a.m. on Monday, uh, 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. So tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., you can come to Epiphany in the north parking lot and bring your own chair and mask and you can have, attend a small service and receive communion. And if you're not comfortable actually trying to attend an outdoor service in person yet, you can have uh, basically porch communion, have communion delivered to you on your porch, or you can sign up for uh, home, Mission Home Church where you can go through a training to be able to have a service at your house. We actually went through it a couple weeks ago and had our first Mission Home Church meeting last, last weekend, Sunday. and it was really nice. Yeah, John had a lot of fun. Yeah, doing John it. helped us set everything up. What else did you put? You put candles out. Yeah. And you helped set up the altar just like you do in, in Atrium. Yeah, so it was a really good experience for all of us because trying to worship together on the computer Sunday morning is definitely not the same, and especially not the same for the kids, so... <laughs> um, one last thing I want to remind everybody of is that Epiphany is still collecting non-perishable food, cleaning supplies, and diapers for Network, which is a nonprofit coalition here in Richardson um, that brings together churches and community organizations to serve those in need in the Richardson area. So we are really close now to our 3,000 pound goal. You guys are amazing. We only have a few hundred pounds left to hit that goal. Um, and you can drop off those donations at the church, and there's a wagon and kind of in the covered by the covered entrance, and that's at 421 Custer Road. We love you all. All right, have a good week, guys.